Well, my friends, Kamala Harris deserves an Academy Award for gaslighting, deflecting, and dancing around all of those questions. The debate just ended and Kamala Harris did not answer any of my questions. She's been there for four years as vice president. She's been a part of the Democratic elite for decades. Why haven't they fixed these issues? Kamala Harris, now she wants to act all rough and tumble on the border. You were put in charge of the border back in 2021, then oversaw the worst immigration crisis in American history. I have questions. Now, Kamala Kamala Harris, she had a rough start in the debate. She was like one of those beat up old jalopies in the Walmart parking lot that takes a few minutes to get going. Objectively speaking, you guys know I'm not owned by the RNC, the DNC, I just call it like I see it. David Muir, the other woman, I don't know her name, and Kamala Harris, it was three against one. Many of these folks on television, they're just Democrat operatives posing as pundits, okay? David Muir could not hide his own political leanings. He cut off Donald Trump. He never fact-checked Kamala Harris. He was combative and argumentative with Donald Trump, moreover. Now, my takeaway from tonight that no one seems to want to talk about, it took Kamala Harris 40 days to do a sit-down interview with her vice president sitting next to her, and the interview lasted less than 20 minutes on a friendly network. Then she took five days to hole up with no events to prepare for this debate and memorize her lines. What the heck's gonna happen if there's a crisis and Kamala Harris has to run down to the Situation Room as Commander-in-Chief and make a decision in six minutes? They're gonna be like, Kamala, what is the answer? And she's gonna say, you know what? Give me about five days. I'm gonna go relax, get a foot rub, get my nails done, convene with my team. Let me think about it. In life sometimes, you gotta make tough choices. You can't say, you know what? I'm not feeling it today. I need a few days off. You have to get in the ring, do the work, and get it done. Another moment that stuck out to me was when Donald Trump discussed getting shot at two months ago in Butler, Pennsylvania on July 13th, and they interrupted him and cut him off. The moderators, if we can even call them that, they didn't even bother hiding their own political leanings. Now, during the debate, Kamala Harris dropped some new facial expressions, which I'm sure she rehearsed with her team in the five days she was holed up in a hotel room. Not so ironically, this is also the face millions of Americans have when they go to the grocery store and see the price of eggs and milk. I know the stars on ABC have multi-million dollar contracts and they sit around their studios in New York City, but I don't think they have their finger on the pulse of how millions of Americans are feeling. A majority of Americans right now are hurting. The last thing I'll say is I was invited to an event tonight in Philadelphia by the Trump campaign. They had a bunch of MAGA influencers and they included me. I'm an independent, I'm not owned by anybody, and they couldn't have been more welcoming. I obviously dressed in an homage to Trump, but I have to say I've never been welcomed like that in those Democratic elite circles by ABC News or anybody in the liberal media establishment. Now, Kamala Harris, she just announced she wants another debate. She wants a round two. I hope they do it on Fox News or another network other than ABC. All right, my friends, I haven't slept. I have a flight in the morning. Thanks for liking and following. Drop a comment. Tell me what you thought of the debate. Did you think the moderators were biased? How do you think Donald Trump did? How do you think Kamala Harris did? I will see you on the next one. Bye.